What is up guys, this is Olympio, coming at you with a card discussion today about a card that everyone's going ballistic over. And what I want to say first is that this card literally just came out in the anime. We do not know if this is going to be the TCG effect. We do not know if this is even going to come to the TCG. Obviously it'll probably be in the OCG, but let's not forget the amount of cards that we actually don't get from the animes is quite high. Even from the original series, the original Yu-Gi-Oh! anime, we still don't have so many cards out of that. So it doesn't mean that this card's actually going to come to the TCG. But nevertheless, I will review it anyway. So the card is Odd Eyes Rebellion Dragon. It is the first XYZ Pendulum card. So that's pretty interesting. So we'll get into it straight away. It's a Dark Rank 7 Dragon XYZ card that has 3,000 attack and 2,500 offense. And its effect reads as follows. It's Pendulum effect. It's a level 4 scale. Once per turn, if you have no cards in your other Pendulum zone, you can place one Pendulum monster from your deck to the Pendulum Zone. Normal effect. If this card is XYZ summoned for an XYZ monster, treat it as a level 7 monster as any of its materials. Destroy all level 7 or lower monsters your opponent controls. And if you do, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the total attack of those destroyed monsters. Once per turn, you can detach one XYZ material from this card. This card can attack a number of times each battle phase this turn. Up to the number of your opponent's monsters destroyed this turn. If this card leaves the field, you can destroy all cards in your pendulum zone, and if you do, place this card in your pendulum zone. Holy shit, this card's ridiculous. Now we've got that out of the way, let's break it down. The pendulum effect that is just mind-blowing for me, because a lot of people are obviously going mental over the main effect, which is great. But the fact that the last effect of the main effect and this pendulum effect makes this card stupid already. Not only can you search out a pendulum from your deck and place it in the scale in the opposite one, creating a full scale, when this card dies, when it's on the field, destroy all the pendulums in your pendulum zones and then bring this back. So, what you're meaning to tell me is, this monster will not only be a pain in the ass because it could probably OTK your opponent, but, when it dies, it goes to your pendulum zone, you can search out another pendulum monster, place it in the zone, and then pendulum summon. So the cards that you've just destroyed in your pendulum zones, to bring this back, you can now bring out. That's pretty crazy. So normal effect is basically, you use a rank 7 for this card. And if you do, you destroy all level 7 or lower your opponent controls and then inflict damage basically to the total of attack that was destroyed. That's crazy. That's basically killing your opponent. And this is better than Ring of Destruction. Then being able to detach to attack the same amount of times in a battle phase up to the monsters destroyed that turn. Yeah, that's crazy. So the fact that if you destroy two of your opponent's monsters that are say on 3,000, I don't know, 2,000, 3,000, you then inflict that to them, and then you can attack up to the same amount of times of the ones... Yeah, yeah, this is an anime card, let's face it, it's gonna be stupid. But, if this card came to the TCG with these effects, what deck would be able to use it? Basically say, Dragon Rulers would get a nice little boost from this. And it also means that Red Eyes, when that comes out, they can also use this because, and I do think I believe I forgot to say, you have to use two level 7 Dragon type monsters to summon it. And that isn't really difficult when you have Rulers and Red Eyes because they spam it everywhere. This card is downright bonkers. The first Pendulum XYZ card is off the fucking charts. But let me reiterate, this card is an anime card. The amount of cards that are in the anime that are crazy and then become nerfed when they come out, there are a lot. One of the biggest ones was Card of Sanctity. Remember being able to draw five or six cards? Yeah, no, you have to banish everything and draw two. This card could have the exact same nerfing, because if this card did come to the game as it stands, ah, it, it, would, it would be painful. There'd be OTKs left, right, and center. The thing that really bugs me, the main thing that bugs me about this card, is the damage that it inflicts to your opponent when you destroy monsters. So the fact that not only do you get to wipe out your opponent's monsters on the board, but you then inflict damage equal to the attack destroyed. That, to me, is overkill. 
you can have the first effect. You can destroy level 7 or lower because it makes sense. But being able to inflict damage to your opponent and then be able to attack up to the number of times per monster destroyed in the same battle phase is fucking ridiculous. But let me reiterate again. This is an anime card. Let us not forget this and let's all just calm down until we see it in the TCG. If we do, and even if we do, it's probably going to be another two years at least. So I wonder what you guys think of the card. Do you think the first Pendulum XYZ card is crazy bonkers? Do you think we'll ever see it? Or do you think it will just get, you know, changed and nerfed like so many cards that we have had in this game? So as I said, let me know down in the comment section below. Like, comment, subscribe, and I should catch you guys later.